All right, so I just walked out the gate and I'm taking you across the street. Man, I know there's been a lot of video footage this uh, past week or couple weeks where there's been walking. My apologies, but look what I'm giving you with all this walking. You know, before the camera was focused on me, now you got it focused on beauty. So there you have it. Anyhow, they're off in the distance, but I think you're getting the idea. There's one under the tree right there. All right, so earlier we talked about uh, things of beauty, breathing, etc., etc., and uh, I'd like to hear from you on sleep quality. What do you do uh, to get a good night's sleep? Let's face it, that sleep is a big part of our lives, and uh, you know we're doing it one third or one quarter of our lives, and there's so many things that can affect a good night's sleep. Temperature, temperature of the room. Um, you know, how dark the room is, background noise, earplugs, all that good stuff. And I've trained myself over the years to be able to sleep anywhere. I can't do it all the time, but I think I'm getting better at it as I get older and just have less energy. Um, I'm able to fall asleep in situ... And like somebody, the girls can be practicing the, their instruments. Nancy's banging on the piano the girls are wailing away on their instruments, I can be on the sofa and fall asleep right there while they're playing. So, yeah, that's an example of something I wasn't able to do before. And I'd like to hear from you on um, tricks that you have uh, to get a great night's sleep as, as far as health and longevity. That can be a huge factor. Over and out.